Last year at the Shaw Classic, I started off in the worst possible position, coming last in the first event. I ended up winning four to seven events on podium alongside Mitchell Hooper and Brian Shaw. This year, 2024, strongest man on earth, I'm coming for one thing only, a nice, big, shiny trophy, no mistakes, no mercy. We will see you in Colorado. Boom. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to play some pool and chat strongest man on earth. Oh. First question is, what event are you most looking forward to? Ha, huh. so obviously I think people, wait two seconds. Oh. Well, think that I say at the stones, obviously of course, I'm looking forward to at the stone in the battle with half or Julius Bjornsson, but I am really looking forward to the Log and Axel medley. I am loving pressing right now. I've had Dan at my call oh, for the last two weeks. I was struggling a bit before that, but I'm hitting massive numbers in that medley. Dumbbells feeling good, but yeah, log and axle medley is going to be heavy. It's going to be epic. Damn it! Second question. How does it differ from the World's Strongest Man? So, World's Strongest Man is over five days. It's got all my days. Oh my... I'm going to be here for five days. Well, strongest man has qualifying days, rest day, then two final days. Small, strongest man on earth has two days. So two back to back, Saturday, Sunday. It's just athletes, 12 of us, finish about three or four hours. Second day, same again, four events. Much more brutal, much more fast paced. Strongest man on earth, of course, has the biggest and heaviest events in the world. But before we move on, this thread is going in this pocket. If I do this, I get 10,000 pounds. Wait, one more time. That yellow top corner. Ah, oh, darn it. We're gonna be here to next year's World Strongest Man. Guys, do you want to see a trick shot? Ah! There we go. Happy 30th birthday, Tom. Luke, thank you very much for the arcade machine. I'm going to answer some more Strongest Man on Earth questions and play the legendary Mario Kart. Mario Kart. So, guys, first question How many reps on the big stone? Let's go. But I was, uh, looks like me. My last uh, big stone session was actually today, and I loaded a 265 kilograms for a double. So I am feeling very confident. If I have to, I hope half or Julius Bjornsson is up for a, a stone battle. I think if he can get two, I'll get three. If he gets one, I'll do one more. So um, yeah, whatever he does, I will, it'll be judged of that. But if I have to go all the way out, I can do three or four reps. And uh, look at Browser go. Third place, baby. Out my way. That's a banana, that's another banana. That someone hit me. And uh, I'm eighth place, so uh, let's, get, let's get it on. Okay, second question. How do you feel about the amount of events in the contest? So, there is not actually many events. Eight events. I mean, when you're doing a Giants live show, there's five. Arnold Classic has, I think, six or seven events as well. Six to eight events. So there's Rogue. So, you know, the events aren't the problem. It's obviously how heavy they are. Every single event is heavy. Every single event is, we're going out of our comfort zone. So, yeah, I like having uh, four, four events a day for two days. I think it's going to be brutal, but it's going to be fun. Now I'm the main character, Marion. Look, Browser thinks he can take over me. I don't think so, Sunshine. This is me. That's half foreign outside. 
Let's make sure Hooper on the inside and look, watch this, right? Oh, first place. First place, baby. Come on. Don't you dare. I'm gonna win it for you boys. That's the question's answered. Now you watch the best Mario Kart player in the world. Oh darn it. Yeah, I did. I used to play this game all the time. I love it. Oh, browser's behind me. Oh, come on, half four. Me versus you, baby. That's how you answer questions and play Mario Kart. What an end to that. Right, guys, so I'm all gamed out. Pool, Mario Kart. Now I'm going to chill, watch TV, put the feet up and answer the last two questions. So get this up, nice and thingy. So the question is, what's your least confident event and what are you doing to improve it? So basically, least confident event, I would say, was dumbbells and my squat, but since Dan's been up, I actually hit my biggest ever double on dumbbell about an hour ago. So this is my last dumbbell training, which I'm very confident with. And then I hit, probably my P, my biggest PB raw squat was last week as well when I hit 380. Nice, Tom. I'm training really, really hard for this. Obviously, it's all about being smart. You don't want to over train, you don't want to injure yourself. So those are the two, but there, there are two that I'm actually really enjoying. I am so, so buzzing with dumbbell right now. And squats as well, being six foot eight is hard. You know, I'm, you look at half foot, unbelievable at squatting, but I'm, I'm getting there now. You know, I'm getting a better squat position. It's nice having your coach up here because over videos, over messages, it's hard. But when you actually one-to-one, -one, you know, squeezing the bar properly, bracing properly, all helps, all that kind of stuff's now clicking. So yeah, it's going to be fun. I don't think I have any weaknesses. It's just those are the two events that I struggle to peak the most everything's peaking now like I said my I'm one week out from the Shaw Classic and this is where I mean to be peaking I am peaking big time so yeah I'm coming in spicy but those are the two events that take me a while to get used to it but they're snappy now and I cannot wait to get over there and get them done this is so comfy guys I've got the heat on as well ha 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 right last one am I happy that I get a compete against Hoffer Julius Bjornsson who wouldn't be happy that I get to compete against him. Last time I competed again against him was Arnold's. I beat him and this, this is uh, gonna be good. He's looking great. Obviously he's still got a bit of work to do with his pressing and stuff like that. But um, I mean, this is his second show bat and it's <laughs> the strongest man on earth, the heaviest show ever. So yeah, I mean, of course, Hafford's one of the greats of the game. I've competed against him a few times. I'm confident in myself though. I know that I can beat him. I know I can beat everybody there. And uh, yeah, I just really hope Hafford is going in 100% because I want the Tom Stoughton versus Halford Julius Brionson on Atlas Stones. I love going against Brian Shaw, I love going against Trey Mitchell on Stones, but Halford Julius Brionson, Tom Stoughton versus you, the manhood stone. Let's bring it, bring it spicy, baby. Come on. Guys, thank you very much for your questions. Strongest man on earth is just around the corner. I am buzzing. Let's go take a shiny trophy home. Now I'm going to chill and watch SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants!